About 60 kilometers west of Ghana's capital, Accra, in the heart of the Pineapple Belt, Gold Coast Fruits farm manager Patrick Ose Serebor is checking on his harvest. These sweet and tangy pineapples are destined for dinner tables in Europe, North Africa, the Middle East, as well as Ghana. So quality control is an important part of business. Pineapples are a very time-consuming fruit to grow. In fact, these spiny fruit take more than a year to reach maturity. So it's very important for growers like Gold Coast Fruits to make sure their plants have everything they need to reach their potential or risk disaster at harvest time. We were planting along the slopes of the land, but with the intervention of SDF, we have realized that the main challenge that we have with the diseases and then the erosion of the land has been solved because they have incorporated into a design of our layout drains that are taking water from the root zones of the plants and then to the various areas where the water will not be stagnant around the root zones of the plant to cause the Phytophthora disease. For Cerebor, drainage has been a particularly important part of the Skills Development Fund in which the farm was enrolled in 2013. Through this fund, he and his team learned that stagnant water causes pineapple diseases that can blight nearly an entire harvest. But that's not all. With the help of a 61,000 US dollar grant from the World Bank supported Ghana Skills and Technology Development Project, Cerebor was able to bring pineapple specialists all the way from Central America in a skills transfer that's meant a big improvement to his business. Before then, the combination of the fertilizers that we are using was a big challenge. And when and how to use those fertilizers was also a big challenge. But with the SDF, we were able to bring consultants from Costa Rica that have been able to train us to improve on our application and when to apply and what chemical at what point in time of our operations. And that has also helped us to curb the incidence of the Phytophthora diseases that we used to have. With the help of the Skills Development Fund and other partners, Gold Coast Fruits is now the fourth largest pineapple exporter in Ghana. Now before we were having about 35 tons, we've raised to 40 tons, 45 tons now. But with all these technologies imparted with us, coupled with new machines that we are using. In the next two, three to five years, we want to increase our production from 45 tons to 55 tons. The success of the farm has carried over to the community. The farm has made fair trade agreements with importers abroad, and this has further helped the community meet more than just their basic needs. We've also increased our premium that we are getting from our fair trade markets. And that has also helped us to engage in many community activities. We are providing books, textbooks, and school uniform to schools around the vicinity of the uh, catchment area of the farm. We have also provided scholarship to certain brilliant but needy students around the communities.